Hello everybody, welcome back to a new What I Wore in a Week. We are having some actual decent, like not freezing weather in the UK at the moment. And honestly, it has been delightful. So I've decided to dig out my camera and do a What I Wore in a Week. Now that I've said that the weather's been decent, it's probably going to start tipping it down with rain as of tomorrow. But I left Ryan's to drive home this morning and I didn't need to put a coat on and I was wearing just like my little sliders and I was warm. So yeah, the weather is ranging from like 13 degrees to 15 degrees at the moment, which is goals. And I'm just working from home today. So I've got a really simple outfit that I'm kicking this what I wore in a week off with. So my top is from Reformation. I just picked this up off of net a -Porte. I was doing some shopping for wedding guest dresses and actually threw this in my basket last minute because I've been looking for a little top like this for ages, like checking all the high street stores and couldn't find anything like this. And then just happened to see this from Reformation. So I thought I would pick it up. It wasn't cheap, but it wasn't bank breakingly like hundreds of pounds, like normal net a -Porte prices, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I picked that up and I really like the little tie bits it has around the waist and then I'm just wearing my very old but so well loved top shop what would you call these like cigarette trousers if you've watched my videos I'm sure lots of you will have seen this before but I've had these for a very long time they are just an absolute staple in my wardrobe I love them so much and then I've got my Vaja trainers on Fendi earrings in for those of you who have not seen the Fendi earrings, this is what they look like. I'm obsessed with these earrings. They're probably one of my most worn items of the year so far. I've curled my hair using my GHD curling wand. I actually curled it yesterday and then put it in a French braid, like a really like super loose French braid overnight. And it just, I literally combed it this morning with a wide tooth comb and that was it. Goals. That was one of the hacks I learned from my hairdresser when I had really long extensions. She was like, if you like curl your hair, do a big bouncy blow dry, whatever, always put your hair in a really loose French braid overnight. It's also great whatever your hair length as well because it stops your hair like being pulled out or anything like that in the night so it actually helps your hair health too. Little hair hack which is not only great for healthy hair but also keeping the curls. So yeah that is my hair today. I'll link the curler that I used in the info box and then for my bag if I do pop out it won't be far so I'll just take a little bag. I love my yellow sac de jour with an all black outfit. I just think it pops. It really pops. I'm loving an all black outfit at the moment. I love wearing white and I wear white a lot but I recently just remembered how great I feel in an all black outfit especially if I've got like gold jewellery especially lots of quite chunky gold jewellery. I am just obsessed. Also for those of you experiencing slightly warmer weather I actually think this outfit would look so great with a pair of sandals with this outfit instead of trainers. Trainers are just kind of a bit of a go-to at the moment if you're not sure if you're going to be like rained on. But we all know I love a pair of sandals so I will very soon as soon as the weather is complying and it's just a fraction like I'll take a degree warmer if we can get up to 16 degrees sandals. Anyone from a colder climate probably thinks I'm crazy but I just hate wearing shoes quite frankly. I'm not a shoe girl. Boots in the winter, sandals in the summer, there's very little in between apart from these. I got a lot of comments on the last what I wore in a week where people were saying I live in Australia for example and I would be so cold in that outfit at that temperature but obviously in the UK we have definitely acclimatized to our temperatures so for us anything between like 18 and 21 is like we class as warm whereas that is lots of people's winter I get it but you've got to let the UK live if you're from a hot country because we don't all feel temperature the same so I don't want to hear it I'm not having it anymore <laughs> let us have 21 as a hot temperature okay thank you very much thank you for coming to my TED talk love you bye I'll see you tomorrow hello everybody today it is is Thursday. I'm really excited about today's outfit. The trousers I've been wearing I have been wanting to wear all week and it's finally like a non warm day so I'm wearing like a full trousers shirt outfit and I'm really enjoying this one. I've realised I probably say that about every outfit but I've just been enjoying actually getting dressed lately which makes a nice change because I did go through a slump recently where I was like I don't care about clothes I just want to be in my pyjamas 24-7. This is not the life for me but um, I'm feeling good at the moment so I've got my Zara pinstripe linen trousers on which I love so much they have the nicest biggest pockets and they're really cinched in at the waist they have a zip here which is very like discreet yeah as you can see they are very like fitted I really like the shape of them and very high-waisted as well which I just love I've taken them up so if you're watching this thinking oh I'm five foot two too so these would be great for me I have taken these up a lot Wonderweb is literally my best friend but yeah I just love how wide leg they are and then how cinched in at the waist they are and then I've got a white linen shirt on with these as well I've got my Vaja trainers on just because it is a little bit rainy today I can't wait for like just a few weeks time when I'm probably going to be able to do a sandal with this outfit 
it will be goals. And then for jewellery, I've got my Fendi earrings again. Just having a real moment with these right now. Really, really enjoying wearing them. So these are probably going to be a repeat this week. And then I've got my Astrid and Me chain on, which I just love so much. And I've just popped it on underneath. I like the way it just kind of peeks through the collar, but isn't like front and centre. And then I've got my little ring on, which is from... I think the website is called Local Eclectic. I just love their stuff. Like they do so much opal stuff as well, which is just my absolute favourite. And then I painted my nails last night. I actually have different nail shapes on each hand because I want to take a pic of my long nails yesterday. And then last night my nails on my other hand broke. So I have long just on this hand right now. But I will be rectifying that later. But I'll link the nail polish that I'm wearing in the info box because it's really nice and affordable and just really pretty as well. And then my Apple Watch strap is my new rose gold one, which I'm really enjoying at the moment. I think this is going to be a firm staple for me. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. The base of today's outfit is one of my all-time favorites. This is a very like classic look for me that no matter what, how my style has changed, I've always worked a black midi skirt and a black top and a black jumper into my wardrobe in some way. So this morning I threw some tan on and because of that, I just wanted to wear like an all black outfit that wasn't super restricted. Restrictive. I know you might think the bodies might feel a bit restricting, but once they're on, they really don't move. And because they're all one piece, they don't rub me at all. So I'm not gonna get any marks from where like tan's been rubbed away or anything. I always find these bodies to just be very foolproof in that sense. I am however wearing a bra underneath this, which I wouldn't normally, especially if I'm tanning, but I've been testing out a new bra today, which I am very impressed with. Would you know? No. So hopefully by now there will be a post up on my blog that has lots of different solutions for the Zara bodies and what to wear underneath them. Literally my most asked question apart from like size and height. So yeah, I thought I would put that together for you as just like a referral point that you can always go back to and I will try and keep it as updated as possible as well so that it always kind of remains up to date and there's not like links that are like six months to a year old. But yeah, anyway, I've then got a midi skirt from Zara that I picked up last summer it does need a little bit of a steam, but we'll just ignore it. I've been sat doing my makeup in this. But yeah, it's such a lovely skirt. Really great for all different heights, to be honest, as well, because you can kind of wear it more high-waisted if you want it to be a bit shorter, but you can wear it lower on the hip if you want a little bit more length, depending on your leg length. So yeah, just a really nice, easy piece. I hope they still do it or something like this. They bring these back literally like every single year. Again, they do trainers my spring staple and this outfit is really great because you can either layer up with a jacket over the top if you want something heavier for me i've got a jumper that i'm going to throw on today because i'm just kind of like chilling if i pop out i'm literally going down the road i'm not going far so i don't need like a big jacket or anything i'd probably go for a leather jacket with this i think that would be the most like classic way for me to do this but this would also look gorgeous with a black blazer over the top as well it's just a really nice versatile outfit a really great one for this time of year like for any transitional season you'll see me doing like a black midi skirt and a black jumper i would do knee-high black boots in the autumn that is a look i will pop that here because i've done that about a thousand times but yeah that's the base of the outfit and then i've just got my fendi hoop earrings i'll wear something different tomorrow i promise yeah and then this jumper which i will show you now which is from new in so this is what the jumper looks like on this one's cropped which i really like because normally i would have to tuck this but because i don't have to tuck it it's not bulky it just sits so so well this is one of those great staple basics from new in that i just love so much and it's just a really nice easy spring outfit we've got a little bit of leg nothing crazy this is one of those outfits where the black suede balenciaga bag that has the gold detailing on it would come out that is my favorite bag to wear with this outfit i might have to dig it out and show you because it's honestly the bag that i dig out for every time that i'm wearing like a cami black satin dress and like jumper or jacket or that kind of thing oh and everything i'm wearing today is a size small i'm going to try and remember to say sizing a bit more often because i find i'm getting asked it a lot at the moment so i will try and do my best to to remember the sizing for everything too. And yeah, this is the bag that I just love to wear with this outfit so much. It's just like that perfect like slouchy vibe, but the black and gold just adds a little bit of like glam to it, which works really nicely with the silk skirt. And then you've got like the jumper and trainers really casualing it down and the slouchy like suede of the bag also casuals it down. It just works really well together. This bag, I get asked probably the most if I will ever sell it. I literally get offers from people at least once a month to weekly. <laughs> I will never ever sell this bag. This is the the Kim Kardashian Balenciaga bag, which is 
I think why so many people DM me about it, but yeah, they don't make this anymore. Hello everybody, today is Monday and today's outfit was mainly based around the really unpredictable weather that we are currently experiencing. Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? I don't know. It's a bit of everything. I've been out for brunch this morning, indoor brunch. It was great. It's the 17th of May today. So those of you that are in the UK will know that as of today, we're allowed to eat inside. And I think we're also allowed to go inside people's houses, which is goals. But yeah, I'm very, very excited about that because it means that I don't have to wear a bajillion layers anymore in order to socialize. So we have this midi dress from And Other Stories on underneath my Bershka leather jacket and then my Saint Laurent bag, major trainers. I love this dress so much. It's so nice. It's like a kind of towel-y material. I don't know if you'll be able to see it just kind of looks like a normal road but it's actually like really towel -y. so interesting but i was very grateful for it when it started spitting on me as i was walking to the car <laughs> basically it was just like drying myself off with my dress but yeah i really love this dress i love the neutral tone of it i just think it is so beautiful and it works okay with the leather jacket i mean i could happily do without it and wear a cardigan instead but it's just a little bit too chilly and where i went for brunch was on the seafront so leather jacket was definitely safer but it's definitely midi dress vibes around here at the moment if it's a long sleeve midi dress it's even better i can get away with not wearing a coat but that seems to be the safest bet for may in the uk at the moment is midi dresses but yeah i really like this one because it's got the little side slits which just allows for a bit more movement yeah that is today's outfit i was very happy with it i decided to keep it simple for my first outing out lots of you will remember in the last what i wore in a week it was i think the first day that we were allowed to go and dine outside and i got really excited picked out an outfit and i kind of went quite over the top with it and just felt a little bit like mm, not sure and then the next day wore the outfit that i wish i'd worn today i changed a couple of times and settled on the fact that this is probably the outfit that i would wish that i had worn so i wore this instead and i'm very happy with it my jewelry was kept simple i literally just went for these hoop earrings from and other stories and then i've got a couple of rings on this one is from local eclectic this one is from a jewelry line that i did with majuri years ago i still wear this all the time this is it on a non-tattooed hand just in case you wanted to see it a little bit better i love this it's like actual full rose gold so i can like wash my hands with it on all of that kind of stuff and it doesn't tarnish and yeah it's just been a long-standing little dainty ring in my collection and i just love it and then for today's lip color i have the dior forever liquid in the shade 100 on my lips and then i've got a tiny bit of mac hue popped in the center and for those of you who haven't seen the midi dress on its own this is what it looks like without the jacket on over the top nice and loose not particularly fitted at all a great one for wearing to brunch and yeah i just love it so cute Good morning everybody today is tuesday and i'm just checking in to show you my working at home outfit for today so we have my white zara body and then these jeans which are if you remember my shopping for denim jeans video my favorite pair of blue jeans light blue jeans from that video this is the dark blue version i love them so much that i got them in the dark blue and i'm really happy with them i did have to size down with these which i didn't know i don't know if that's a sizing error because i had an eight in the other size but this size i had to get a six which is odd because normally when you go for a darker tone of denim the dye like ends up shrinking the denim so you normally have to size up so a little bit backwards on what i expected but i'm loving them they fit really nicely and as with most jeans they tend to stretch out a little bit anyway so i think they're going to be super comfy as they kind of settle but i just love the color i am a little bit nervous this color denim i tend to have very bad luck with so i'm hoping that it won't rub off against my body this is a real test today fingers crossed it doesn't ruin this body because i love this one but yeah this is the color denim that ruined my favorite gucci bag if you remember that one which i think is actually still on my depop at the moment if anyone wants to go and grab that i think it's still for sale so yeah anyway i have my dark blue denim and then i have my oh this isn't all zara outfit i have my zara little quilted sliders which i'm just obsessed with i'm always obsessed with at this time of year and then i have a little anklet which is from a set from asos for jewelry we have a astrid and Miu necklace my fendi hoop earrings and then the same rings on as yesterday and then again rose gold apple watch strap which i am just loving very very happy with this one so yeah that is today's outfit and if i am feeling a little bit chilly i will probably throw on like a long white cardigan just to like tie in really nicely with the look and to be honest if i pop out at all later i will probably throw on the white cardigan it's just real cardigan weather at the moment so this is the white cardigan it's from misguided i love this one it actually comes with a little waist tie as well but i think today i will just leave it like 
open and flowy just so you can see the outfit underneath because I think it works really nicely with the outfit underneath and yeah just kind of like ties in really nicely with all the white but isn't like too distracting or too much or anything like that so yeah that is today's outfit good afternoon everybody i am just popping out to pick up some bits i've been filming this morning so i had this lovely little asos top on and i've just thrown on i did have comfy black like ribbed knitted trousers on but i've thrown on my zara jeans i really love the blue wash of these with black i think it works really nicely and then i've got my little chanel sliders these are amazing for the springtime as well as the summertime we've got a whole 16 degrees today so i'm literally just going to be like running in and out so i'm not bothered about a coat this is like nice and knitted so fairly warm apart from across my chest and i just can't be bothered to actually put full-on footwear on so it's sliders it is and these are amazing as i was saying for spring summertime because if the weather is a little bit unpredictable they're like that almost jelly material they remind me of you know when you were a kid and you have like jelly sandals <laughs> they remind me of that but they're amazing because of that for if it rains so they're a great one for kind of warmer spring days for me because I just don't have to worry about my footwear getting wet which is amazing so yeah that is the bulk of today's outfit my necklace is Ashramiyu as always I just love their stuff their chunky gold jewelry is my favorite and then these earrings are also Astrid me it's a little close-up of them just so you can see and the necklace I really like because it actually you can make it like longer or shorter and you can have that like just draping down the back which is nice so yeah some days I have it like full length and it kind of comes down to around here and then these are my earrings I love them they're so cute and you can take this little bit off as well so you can just have the gold hoop which I've done a couple of times too so yeah that's going to be my outfit today a trench coat like my black trench coat would also work really nicely over the top of this if I were going to need one I'm literally like getting out the car going into the shop getting back in the car coming home so I'm just not going to bother yeah that is today's little springy outfit for a whole 16 degrees that minimum temperature is coming up and it is making me so happy good morning everybody this is going to be the OOTD for picking up my new car i'm very excited very nervous i don't know why i've got real like anxiety because i just haven't done anything really in months and so now i have to actually go somewhere i'm actually vlogging today separately so you will see that coming up but yeah my outfit i am loving i actually you will probably see the full order of this coming up but i have this midi dress from around other stories which i just love it has this tie wrap bit which is just like amazing if you are feeling a little bit bloaty like i love dresses like this because how would they know how would they know? Nobody's gonna know. If you don't know that TikTok is one of my favorites. But yeah, this is coming off a lot whiter on camera. I don't know how it will come across once it's uploaded to YouTube, but it's more of like a creamy e-crew off white tone. And then I've got my little beige sac de jour and my Chanel sliders. I'm loving them at the moment. And the anklet I think is from ASOS. I got it in a set of three with toe rings as well. Still on the hunt for a real solid set i actually have just realized that this dress needs a little steam so i'm gonna have to try and see if i can do that quickly because that crease is gonna annoy me <laughs> yeah other than that my earrings are also from and other stories my lipstick is the same as it i think has been pretty much all of the week which is the all nude 100 in the lipstick not the forever liquid yeah and that is it keeping it simple other than that i'm gonna wear my ray-bans let me show you these ones i've been loving wearing these at the moment this is so difficult to do what am I doing with my life? I really like these. They're just so simple, just really nice and easy. And I think they work really beautifully with a very simple outfit. So yeah, that is my outfit of the day. Let me know which has been your favorite in the comments. I would love to know. I think this is gonna be the last outfit because it's actually upload day. I'm seeing you guys today. Hi. I love it when I get to check in with you guys on actual upload day. I hope you're all having the best day. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're coping in the UK with restrictions easing this week. It's definitely been an adjustment for me. It's quite overwhelming. My anxiety has been like peak. So if you're feeling like that, you are not alone. It's very strange to go from like not really doing that much at all to I really feel like it's gone from zero to 100 for me in terms of like life work personal life like everything has just been happening this week it's been a lot but yeah i hope you guys are all having a great week i love you all lots i'll see you guys again on monday love you bye